everybody, I'm SK from The Hunting Grounds, and today I've got a little how-to for you. Today I'm going to show you how to take a couple of these uh, cinnamon-scented brooms you can pick up for uh, about five bucks a piece. Um, any craft stores and dollar stores and uh, grocery stores have them around this time of year. Take a few of those and turn them into a nice, authentic-looking witch's broom. So, this is a real quick, easy project, so let's hope the video doesn't take too long. Um, the first thing you're going to need is a stick, a good broomstick. Now, I went out in the woods and I found this, uh, this tree that didn't look, too, didn't look like it was doing too well, so I cut it down. It had a big old, this is, it was actually in the ground, you know, kind of like that. And the roots were here. So this thing wasn't going to stand for very long. It was already starting to rot out center, so I cut it down. I really don't like cutting down trees, but since I need a good fresh piece of hardwood for this, I had to do it. Um, I like the look of this because it's got that big knuckle on the end, kind of like a like a um, shillelagh. But, uh, all right, so you need a stick. You need a couple of these cinnamon scented brooms. Now, we have them hanging up around our house every year and my wife leaves them up throughout the year and uh, after a while they just kind of lose their scent so we buy new ones. So I salvage the old ones. I have three of them and uh, that's how many it takes really to make a, a nice full broom. So the first thing you're going to do is take your stick and clean it off real well. You're going to take jackknife or whatever and shave off all the bark. You can leave the bark if you want. I prefer the nice clean wood look. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. There we have it. All the uh, bark has been stripped off of our piece of wood and it's uh, all ready to go. Now I failed to mention when I started this video there is a couple other things that you're going to need and that is you're going to need a roll of jute twine and some kind of uh, a, a wire. What I'm going to use is this, uh, this craft wire. Um, and you're only going to need this just to just to kind of hold the the bristles of the broom in place while you wrap it. So the next thing we need to do is we need to cut these brooms down to size. Now they're a little bit too long. Um, you need about uh, 24 inches, and these brooms are about 36 to 38 inches. So what I'm going to do is I've already cut one down. And I'm going to cut down the other two to match the length of this one. So I'm going to take a hacksaw. I'm going to mark that where it's got to be. And I'm just going to hold it nice and tight right here. And they cut pretty easy. Now the reason I cut the handles off, the handle ends off, is because that's where the thicker wood is and you really don't want that. You don't want to lose the, uh, the, fine, the fineness down around the base of the bristles. The so next thing we have to do is to take 
and cut these bindings here that are around the thing. This is what flattens out the broom to make it look more like a broom. So we need to cut these off and get rid of them so that we can start to shape this broom more like a witch's broom. So cut each one of those off and just pull out all this, uh, all these little pieces of wicker here that are used to hold this together. Whew, and this one is the cinnamon one. I used one new broom because we only had two last year. So, okay. Now you've got that. You can you can crimp this together and make it nice and nice and round. It's still going to fan out a little bit, but it's good enough for what we need. Okay, now I've got all of the uh, all of the little pieces around here cut off. We still have two bands. We have one here at the base of the broom and one here just below our cut. We're going to take these ones from uh, just below our cut off, but we're going to leave this one here. If you can't, just slide these right off. If they're close enough, you can just slide them right off. If you can't, just, uh, just clip them and pull them off. And now we have three bunches all ready to be tied onto this, uh, to this broom. Gonna wrap them right around that uh, broomstick here. And you're gonna take your wire and you're gonna wrap a piece of this wire around here. Pull it tight and give it a twist. And you'll do the same thing down closer to uh, to the bottom of the broomstick too. Okay, now you have the basic broom all set here, and we can start snipping off the other groups of bands. And what this does, what leaving these on here does, is it allows you to spread these um, branches out pretty evenly around your broomstick. Alright, now you can just take that, hold that right together, and tighten this bottom wire up just a little bit. Kind of spread these bristles out across each one, across each bunch, just so that you don't have these uh, gaps here. And once you've done that, you'll notice that this uh, band, this um, piece of wire has come loose again. 
as you fill this in, as you tighten this up around here, these uh, wires get loose again. So you're going to want to tighten that right back up. You can move it down just a little bit. And tighten that right up around there. Make sure your top one is still tight. Make sure you don't have any of these uh, big bulges here. And now it's time to wrap it. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my jute twine and I'm going to leave a big end and I'm going to tie this up around the top here. Tie it as tight as you can get it, but you know, if it's not super tight, it's all right. You want to try and keep it as tight as you can, but it'll be okay. And now you can take your wire off here. Take your string, loop it around one, one or two of the branches here, one or two of the big, bigger branches in your bristles here, so that the broom itself doesn't, uh, or so the um, string itself doesn't wind backwards while you're trying to twist it through here. You just hold this uh, tail down, and the tail, what that does is it gives us something to tie the other end to, and then you just start winding this nice and tight. going to keep going downwards until you get closer to the end of your uh, your broom handle if you can see it Now once you've gotten down most of the way on your broom here, you can take off the second uh, piece of wire. Um, by that time you should have enough, uh, the, the, the bristles are, are held down well enough where they're not going to, they're not going to go anywhere. And that'll uh, give you a little bit more freedom as far as wrapping this. Now what I'm doing as I'm wrapping, I'll go around uh, a couple times, two or three times. And then I'll grab a hold of this with the one hand and just yank that that string tight. Pull the jute, uh, jute twine nice and tight so that all these bristles are held together well. Once you get towards the end here, you're going to want to try and keep this uh, tighter than, than you have throughout most of the rest of this. Um, and you're going to really want to yank it tight for the last couple of, uh, last couple of wraps. And over time, all this loose and tight wraps will they'll spread out and it'll uh, kind of uniform itself out. And then, once you've reached your tail here, you're going to take and uh, holding your wrapped string around or uh, with one finger, you're going to tie a square knot and really pull that tight. Thank you. 
Now you can take your ends here, you can cut them off and tuck them up in wherever you can find some place to tuck them. What I'm using here is just a little piece of uh, coat hanger left over from another project. Just to tuck those strings right up in there. And there you have a nice tightly wrapped broom. All right, once you get, uh, once you get this all finished, there's uh, probably going to be a f at least a few um, broken branches. I think I've pulled all of mine out as I went along, but you'll get a few of them that, are, that break off here and there, and that's really no big deal. Now, the last thing you may want to do, you may not be happy with the shape of your broom at the base, the, with the shape of your bristles, um, what you can do is just pull these together, bunch them up at the end, and uh, you can take one of those pieces that you were using earlier of the wire, and just wrap that around there, right towards the base of your broom. Give that a twist and let that sit for uh, a few days and what that'll do is that'll uh, that'll help these bristles to start uh, staying inwards and, and kind of give them a nice round shape and there you have it for a fraction of the cost for a total of about $17 you have yourself a witch's broom now just uh, just for the record something like this um, if you can find them in stores I've seen them out in Salem they generally run around eighty to a hundred dollars maybe even more fifteen bucks and it's a great prop for your uh, Halloween witch house or maybe you just want to leave it around your house all year round whatever you like from the hunting grounds I'm SK Happy haunting.